What's up guys? A uh, pretty common question we get here almost every day, especially from new clients online and in person, is how long you should be resting in between sets. So uh, a thing I like to just say to people commonly is you should rest as long as you need to make sure you can hit the next set adequately. Um, you don't really get a trophy for taking 30 seconds, um, especially if you mix miss the next set because you didn't rest long enough. Um, this is why a lot of training sessions can run 90 minutes or two hours just because you're resting in between a lot of the bigger movements. So a little kind of a guide you can keep in mind is when you're working in sets of uh, two, three, five, or even singles, um, I like to rest at least three minutes in between sets. Um, I don't rest as long as some people. I like to just get going a little bit more, but there's people that take uh, seven, eight, nine minutes, which is a long time for me, but some people need that time to get mentally focused, get their wraps on, straps, belts, whatnot. So when you're working in a heavier rep range, I would say you should be resting at least two to three minutes in between sets as a minimum. Um, if you're doing assistance work, which is basically compound lifts with lighter weight and more reps added um, to, build up, to build up some of the weaker points of your compound lifts. I'd say resting about two minutes is adequate for that. Um, if you're deadlifting or if you're back squatting, I always take a little bit longer on that just because it's harder on my lumbar and my butt. Um, but if you're working in the bodybuilding rep range, which is simply you know a million reps just to get a pump get blood in the area and help the tendons and ligaments grow i don't rest longer than a minute for that and i think that's where a lot of the confusion comes from is uh bodybuilding magazine saying to to really get your rest periods down like that's the biggest thing you should be focusing on and it's not at least for strength training um, you don't get extra points if you take 20 seconds to rest and then you go and fail the next set because you weren't um uh, recovered adequately so you may feel like your muscles are recovered adequately during um, heavy sets but it's your nervous system that needs recovering so you may not have muscle soreness and people take that to mean oh I'm good to go but your nervous system may not be recovered so it's better to take a little more time to make sure you can hit your sets adequately finishing all the reps because that's really the most important part if you're supposed to do a set of five at 400 pounds and um, you rested you know maybe a couple minutes shorter than you should have you may hit that weight for a double but you're too tired to hit it for five so so um, the goal would be for heavy compound sets squats bench overhead deadlift snatch clean and jerk um, or even some strongman movements I would say resting two to five minutes is good um, for assistance lifts you know, like three sets of eight, three sets of 10 deficit deadlifts. I rest about two to three minutes tops um, for the bodybuilding stuff, which is not nervous system taxing, but it taxes your muscles a little bit more. Um, I'm resting about 60 seconds there because the goal is to keep blood in the area to help the area grow. If you rest too long in between bodybuilding stuff, you are gonna lose a little bit of that pump, which is the goal, at least for me. So I would say heavy stuff, two to five minutes, assistance stuff, two to three minutes, and then bodybuilding stuff, about 60 seconds. So if you have questions about that, let me know.